Hello, hello, my beautiful friends. How are you today? It's Elizabeth Angeline coming at you live from Heaven the Spa on the Rock today, this beautiful, beautiful day. Welcome and thank you for joining me. If you are here with me live, drop me that heart button so I know you are here. And please don't hesitate to ask any questions that you may have. Today's topic is about the difference between the two of our favorite alpha hydroxy acids, lactic acid and glycolic acid. So I'm going to jump right into the major differences that I have for you. But I'm going to start with the benefits of an acid in general. Um, so an acid is used for a liquid exfoliation on the skin. There are many, many components to selecting the right alpha hydroxy acid for you. If you are new to this process, I highly recommend that you consult a professional, myself or someone else that you trust, to choose the right acid for you as well as the right duration, the right concentration and the right pH. There are many factors involved that are way more complex than just simply buying your best influencer's favorite from the shelf or from Sephora. So follow them along. Let me know if you have any questions. An alpha hydroxy acid is used as a liquid on the skin or within a liquid like a moisturizer or a serum on the skin and it penetrates into the tissue dissolving your sugars that bond your skin cells together. As you get older the sugars that bond your skin cells together become stickier and your skin cells become thicker. So the reason we need to use alpha hydroxy acids is to create that glowing, radiant, healthy, even skin tone. You can do physical exfoliation, but of course that will only reach the surface dead skin. And the liquid, the reason it's such a fine molecule is it will settle in between and allow the skin to renew itself and slough off. Your skin is a living organ. It needs to regenerate from the bottom up. So there are many AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids and there's another category called beta hydroxy acids. Today we are specifically talking about the two differences well, the differences between the two, glycolic and lactic. Um, if you are interested in more information, like I said, drop me some hearts, drop me some questions. I am here as your skincare professional to help you along this path. So two of the major differences with lactic and glycolic are their source or where they come from. Lactic acid comes from milk, a souring of the milk. Glycolic acid comes from sugars, sugarcane, or pineapples, I think. Uh, so these are very different in their nature, and they're very different in where we get them from. Lactic acid is more commonly known as the baby acid or the stepping stone for acid use. So if you're new with alpha hydroxy acids or you've never tried them before, lactic acid is a fantastic place to get started. If you have been using acids for a long time and you think, oh, I'm ready for the next step up, glycolic acid is the next place for you to go. Let me know you're here with me live, ladies. I see that you're here. I appreciate your time on this gorgeous day. So stepping stone from a lactic acid is going to help with texture. Lactic acid is going to help with the appearance of the skin. So the glowing or the radiation of the skin, that radiant face that we're all looking for is going to come with lactic acid. Uh, lactic acid is also going to help reduce your um, scars and marks and spots. So when we're thinking about lactic acid, you can think of it being a more gentle, a more hydrating and something that perhaps you could use for a longer period of time. When you're using a glycolic acid, this molecule structure is smaller that creates a stronger result because it penetrates in deeper. So when you think about the acid doing the job, which is a similar job, it's just going deeper. So we're dealing with a little bit more corrective issues. So pigmentation, deep lines or wrinkles, um, cautious with how I say that. So fine lines and wrinkles can be really assisted with lactic acid or any acid use. But of course, if you want to stimulate the deeper layers, you will need a smaller molecular molecular structure, and that would come from your glycolic acid. So think about deep scarring, uh, deep wrinkling, or deeper layers of pigmentation. All of them are going to work with texture, so that refined, smooth pore size will come from both. Glycolic can be a little bit more on the dehydrating side. So whenever you do a regime of a stronger acid, such as glycolic versus the baby acid of lactic, you would do it perhaps for a shorter burst of time and rehydrate always. So you could use your glycolic in the evening perhaps and then just always reimbursing the skin's moisture levels. Lactic acid is usually kind of creamy in its weight so it doesn't rob the skin as much. So if you are sensitive skin, 
drier skin, or if you had any moisture barrier compromised, lactic acid is your go-to. If you have more of an aging skin, a normal skin, or um, a combination acneic skin, then glycolic can be someone you get started with. But you do want to use caution when starting with any acids, that you're starting with an um, appropriate percentage for your skin type and building up. You never want to go super strong to start with. Also because if you're anything like me, then you have nowhere to go after that. If you burn your face with a glycolic 30, then what's the fun in that? Starting somewhere gives you something to grow in towards and creates a uh, familiarity with those molecules in your skin, so you're that much less likely to have any contraindications. When you have a contraindication of acid, it's not good. You can have burns, you can have blisters, you can have permanent damage and permanent markings. So we always suggest to familiarize yourself with a professional who can make you the right suggestion so that you can have this beautiful longevity with acids in your life because as far as I'm concerned physical exfoliation is wonderful enzymatic exfoliation is also wonderful but we do need to stimulate the dermal layers below and the only way to get down there ladies is with an AHA so stick with me I have some notes because I didn't want to forget anything uh, both are very good for acne. Both acids are very good for acne because of the pore cleansing effect, the regenerating effect, and when you're using an acid, it goes in and it's actually an antibacterial source for you too. So a lot of the products that you use for acne will either contain an AHA or a beta hydroxy acid such as salicylic acid. You can sometimes combine these acids, but sometimes you actually just don't need to. You could be getting very little effect out of a second one if you have layered them up or you could just be layering them on top of one another for the exact same effect. If you choose the right product you should be getting the results that you are looking for within three to four days of the initial process and then if you get to keep using a product for any long period of time you should get refined texture, reduced pore size, reduction of fine lines and a reduction of your spots and scars and marks that you're looking for. That's the goal that I would usually prescribe an lactic acid for somebody. So so somebody comes into my spa and they say I have these really large pores, they have these fine lines, we have normal to combination skin type, what can I do to minimize the appearance of this and improve my skin's texture? Automatically I know that anything to do with texture or marks or fine lines has to be alongside a physical exfoliation, a liquid exfoliation, or an AHA. So we use the Magnificent Eminence skincare line here, and I hope that you know this by now, but Eminence is launching a brand new, few new products to our already existing beautiful Mangosteen collection. So all be that said, we are hosting a Discover Eminence event, Discover the Queen of Fruits, the Mangosteen Expanded Collection on March 20th. I am here to invite you to join me for a fun, fun night of information mini facials so you will receive, you will give to yourself a mangosteen lactic acid treatment peel that evening. I will show you how, I will show you when, I will show you exactly what and teach you why you would use lactic acid. Then you will feel and experience the results immediately that evening. You will leave here with that radiant skin that you came in here looking for, that you came to this video looking for information on. This information as well as a huge amount more with an entertaining wonderful wine filled evening and you get to go with a bag of goodies that nobody else has seen yet this product launch is launching and I am introducing it to you and you alone we have a limited amount of spaces there are 10 spaces you must buy a ticket for this event because we need to start on time we need to have the exact amount of freebies and goodies to give to you and we need to have the setup ready so over in our events page here on Facebook and if you are seeing me live on Instagram go over to our link in the bio and buy yourself a ticket for $10. You'll be getting way more value than $10 and I will be here to greet you with a glass of wine. I can't wait. It's March 20th. It's a Friday this time. It's between 6 and 8 p.m. and like I said, you get your very own magnificent mini facial with the entire new expanded collection of the Mangosteen Queen of Fruits major antioxidant and lactic acid treatment that night. You can bring anybody that you'd like with you with a maximum seating of 10. So that is all I have for the video. If you have 
any questions today in regards to how would you choose a lactic acid versus a glycolic acid or any other acids or would you even choose an acid over something else like a retinol and how of course you might use them. I'm here for you as your skincare professional. It is my pleasure to bring you this knowledge and I do hope that you will join me March 20th 6 till 8 on my wonderful Discover Eminence event. Join me now in the link below or over in our Facebook events page. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a wonderful day.